thread the linker by first placing your cone of yarn onto the short stem or short post atop the linker. Thread the yarn over the thread guide and between the two tension discs in the tension unit. Pull the yarn through the first of the metal thread guides and then through the second at the front of the machine. Use the small crochet hook to pull the yarn through the needle block and then through the eye of the needle. The small crochet hook really likes to split your yarn, so be careful and remove it easily uh, before drawing through or pulling the tool and the yarn all the way through the eye. It's important to make sure that this thread guide that carries the yarn from the cone is positioned directly above the cone, not above the tension unit. To join the shoulder seam of the tiny cardigan, first hang the front shoulder on the linker pins just below the bound off edge. I know that I've bound off 19 stitches at the end of knitting this front shoulder piece, so I'm gonna do my best to hang those 19 stitches over 19 pins on the linker. You can see that red band on the linker itself will identify groups of 10 stitches. Use this as a guide. I'll then hang the back shoulder seam right sides together on those same linker pins. We've marked the beginning of shaping with a contrast yarn marker when knitting the back piece. This yarn marker may or may not hit that edge most pin that you've hung the front on. That's okay. We can be a few pins over or less likely under. Uh, it's just a, a guide for us to follow to make sure that we don't take too much of the armhole from the back out in the shoulder seam. Turn the dial towards the needle and link through the shoulder seam. Keep manual tension on the yarn tail when you take the first stitch or two, just to ensure that the first stitch is formed properly. Be mindful of the yarn marker, moving it out of the way of the moving looper mechanism so that it doesn't get caught or tangled up in the linker itself. Link several stitches beyond the edge of your work before breaking the working yarn and peeling your knitting from the machine. If you cut or break the working yarn between needle and linker pin, you won't have to re-thread the needle for the next seam or join that you'll work. Before pulling your work off the linker, release the loop from the looper and inspect your work. I haven't done the best job here. You can see a few of these contrast colored stitches splitting a column of stitches here and there. Um, if this weren't just a demo, I might unravel this and try again, but if you're happy with it, unravel the tail and draw through the last loop at the edge of the seam. This will lock off the chain stitch and ensure that your seam does not unravel.